Hello everyone, I once again welcome you all to my YouTube channel English by Nisa. In today's video, we are going to see the conditional exercises which you have in your degree 5th SEM English textbook. In the last video, we have discussed the conditionals and its type from 0 to mixed conditional. And today we are going to see the 5th semester English textbook exercises. I am 99.9% .9 sure that after watching this video, you would be able to solve all the exercises. So let's start it from the first exercise. So here in the first exercise, you have to make the zero and first conditional sentences. So first of all, let us know what is zero and first conditional. Zero conditional refers to the situation that are always true or possible. Here we talks about the general situation, which is always true or possible. Like suppose if we switch on the fan, the fan will rotate. And if it rains, the ground gets wet. So here we talk about the general situations we are, which are true. And the structure of zero conditional is if plus present simple plus present simple. And the first conditional is refers to the situations that are possible or realistic. And the structure of first conditional is if plus present simple plus future simple. Now let us move to the exercise. The first question is people eat too many sweets they become fat. Now here you have to add either zero conditional or first conditional. So I have added here zero conditional. So let's see the structure of zero conditional if plus present simple present plus present simple. So here if people eat too many sweets they become fat. If plus present simple this is the present simple present simple sentence so this is your zero conditional sentence now let's move to the second next one is better students you should write this structure so that it will help you to see the exercises questions now let's move to the second one you smoke you get cancer so here students you can write zero conditional or you can choose first conditional also both the sentence are correct but you have to choose any one you can't write two two so now let's see if we choose uh, the zero conditional you can write like this if you smoke you get cancer if plus present simple plus present simple but if you want to choose first conditional you can write like this if you smoke you will get cancer you can add will after this you so that will become the first conditional but i have used here the zero conditional if you want to use the first conditional you can write will here now let's move to the next one third conditional children play outdoors they have healthy bodies here also you can choose zero conditional and or first conditional both the sentences are correct if you use zero or if you can use f first conditional also now let us see if children play outdoors they will have healthy bodies here i have choose the first conditional by using if you can see the structure here first conditional structure if plus present simple plus present future this is the present simple plus future simple if plus present simple plus future simple will i have used here which is the simple future so here i have used the first conditional you can use zero conditional also in this way if children play outdoors they have healthy bodies you can drop this will and the conditional becomes zero conditional now let's move to the fourth one water freeze it be very cold now here also students you can use zero conditional or first conditional both the sentences are correct but you can choose only one if water freezes it will be very cold here i have used the first conditional but if you want to use zero conditional you can write in this way if water freezes it becomes very cold this will become zero conditional now let us see the fifth one everyone feel happy the weather be good here you have to choose the first conditional if the weather is good everyone will be happy if plus the simple present plus simple future 
Now the next one is I come early if you want. I will come early if you want. So the correct sentence we can write with the help of first conditional only here. If plus and here students in my introduction or to conditional I have already told you we can uh, change this sentence this clause if clause can become at the second part of the sentence so here the main clause come first and the sec if clause come at the second part you can write like this also or you can write like this also like if you want I will come early you can shuffle these sentences you can change the position of these sentences now let's see the seventh one if they invited they attend the meeting so here you all you have to add the first conditional if they are invited they will attend the meeting if plus simple uh, present plus simple future will attend the meeting now let's move to the eight one she stay in the city if she find a job now here you have to add the first conditional here she will stay in the city if she finds a job so here also again we have changed the position of main clause and the sec uh, first clause if clause if clause came at the second position you can change this positions as well if she finds a job she will stay in the city now let's move to the ninth one if she passed this exam so here you have to add first conditional if he passes this exam he will get a promotion if plus simple present plus simple future he will get a promotion now let us see the last one i dash a new dress if i dash extra money so here you have to add the first conditional i will buy a new dress if i have extra money so here students again we have changed the position of if clause and the main clause you can interchange this position you can write if clause first and you can write this main clause after this so now students these are the first exercise answers let's move to the second exercise now so now let us see the second exercise where you have to make the second, third and mixed conditional sentences. So before going on to the exercise, let's see the second conditional. Second conditional is refers to a situation that is impossible, unreal or unlikely to happen. These are the sentences that are not based on fact. And the structure of second conditional is if plus past simple which is V2 and would plus wap past simple is nothing but v2 now let us see the third conditional third conditional is refers to a past situation that differ from the reality suppose if i had saved money i would have bought a car you did not save your money in the past that's why it is differ from the reality you couldn't able you couldn't be purchase a car now let us move to the next mixed conditional here the mixed conditional refers to our time that is in the past and the situation that is ongoing in the present in the mixed conditional you can to use two structure if you can use second conditional or you can use the third conditional as well now let us move to the exercise here first example is given if she dash mandarin she dash china here you have to add the third conditional in exam also you will get like this only they will give you in the bracket which conditional you have to add in the blank so first you have to see the structure you you should learn all this structure you should memorize all the structure it would be helpful for you to solve the exercises so third conditional is given here we have to add third conditional now let us see the third conditional structure if is already here if past perfect which is had we have to use here had studied because it is the past perfect here i have to use the had studied so here i have used the third conditional which after if we have to ha add a past perfect which is had studied a study is given here so we have to made it past perfect had studied mandarin she dash go to china now after this past perfect what we have to add we have to add would have plus v3 this go will change this is the v1 we have to change this v1 to v3 so that will become 
she would have gone to china so students you can see here i have used the third conditional and i have filled the blanks with the help of third conditional you also have to do the same thing you have to memorize this all the structure of zero to mixed conditional and whatever they ask you you have to substitute these uh, words in this structure so if she had here we have to add the third conditional so i have added if after if past perfect so had studied i have taken mandarin she would have gone to because here go was there but we have to use v3 after would have so this v1 will change to v3 which become gone so she would have gone to china i hope you have understood now let's move to the next one in the first one if it dash an international award the book sell in thousands so here you have to add the second conditional let us see the structure of second conditional the structure of second conditional is if plus past simple plus would plus verb so here we have to add if it is already there we have to add the past simple which is v2 so what is the v2 of this win v2 of this win become one so here i have to write the one w o and one past simple if it won an international award the book sell in thousand so here second conditional we are writing so after this uh, after this one which is past simple what we have to add in the second conditional would plus v1 we have to add would plus v1 so here the book would sell would sell we have to write here would sell in thousand this sell would sell in thousand so here students you just see the structure of the second conditional if plus past simple which is will become this win which is v1 if we change this v1 to v2 which is past simple become won so if it won an international award the book sell in thousand so here after this past simple if plus past simple plus what we have to add we have to add would plus v1 so v1 is sell as it is and we have to add would here so our second conditional is completed if it won an international award the book would sell in thousands now let's move to the next one so now let us see the second one v dash arrive on time if you dash the right direction so here you have to add the third conditional so i have added already so what is the third conditional third conditional is if plus past perfect plus would have plus verb 3 so here they have interchanged the position first they have taken the main clause then they have taken the if clause so first would have verb 3 so here we would have arrived become arrived because this is v1 v2 is the change and this v3 arrived we would have arrived on time if you then again we have to add after this if clause in if clause we have to add the past perfect after if so what is the past perfect if you had given this give become given if you had given the right direction this is your third conditional if you see the structure it will be easy for you to add the words now let us move to the fourth one i dash the school back if i dash the educational minister here you have to add the second conditional here they are also here again they have changed the position first they have taken the main clause then they have taken the if clause now let's see the structure of second conditional in the second conditional if plus past simple plus would plus v1 so first they have taken this would plus verb i would v1 we have to use so this ban become same as it is ban i would ban the school bag if i were the educational minister so here after if what we have to use past simple we have to use v2 what is the v2 of b the v2 of b was was or were in the conditional state actually with uh, i we always use was but in the conditional statement we have to use were along with i so 
the v2 of b become what i would ban the school bag if i were the educational minister now let us move to the fifth one now let us see the fourth one if she dash prepare well she dash answer all the question here you have to add the third conditional what is the structure of third conditional if plus past perfect plus would have plus v3 so here if she past perfect we have to use so this prepare become prepared if she had prepared well she would have plus what we have to add v3 so this answer become answered if she had prepared well she would have answered all the questions now let's move to the fifth one if he dash wisely he dash happily here you have to add the mixed conditional what is the mixed conditional either you can choose this second conditional or you can choose this third conditional so here students i have used the second conditional which is if plus simple past plus would plus verb one v1 so here is better to see the structure and see this exercises so if he had invested wisely he would leave happily along with models we have to use v1 and in the structure of also we have verb this is structure i have used if plus past simple plus would plus verb so now let us see the sixth one if he dash so rashly the accident dash the third conditional you have to add here so what is the structure of this third conditional in the third conditional you have to add if plus past perfect plus would have plus v3 so here if he had driven so rashly the accident if he had not driven so rashly the accident would not have happened here this happen become happened if we write v3 here so let me write first so now you can see if we hadn't driven so rashly the accident wouldn't have happened so here i have used the structure of third conditional and i have filled the this blanks you can do the same thing first you memorize all the structures then it will be help to you to do these exercises to fill the blanks now let's move to the next one if wishes dash horses if wishes dash horses beggars dash right now here you have to add the second conditional what is the structure of second conditional if plus past simple plus would plus v1 so here if if wishes plus what we have to use past simple so what is the b form of past simple we have already discussed this b in the past become were if wishes were horses beggars what we have to add here after this would v1 would and v1 we have to add here so this if wishes were horses beggars would ride on them so here beggars would this will become would and this ride as it is because along with models we have to use v1 only so here simply we have to add would and here were now let us see the eighth one here if he dash go to college tomorrow he dash so sad today here you have to write the mixed conditional so you can choose this structure or you can choose this structure as well so i have choose the second conditional here if plus past simple plus would plus verb so let us substitute this if he had to go to college tomorrow he would be so sad because along with would we have to use v1 so no verb is here so that's why we are taking b if he had to go college tomorrow he would be so sad today so let me write so this is the correct sentence if we had to go to college if we had to go to college tomorrow he would be so sad today if we had to go to college tomorrow he would be so sad today now let us see the next one which is here you have to add the third conditional you dash the you 
dash find the book if you dash look carefully here you have to add the third conditional now let us see the structure of third conditional if plus past perfect plus would have plus v3 so here first they have taken the main clause so what is the main clause would have plus verb 3 so you would have this find will change to found you would have found the book if you past perfect we have to use here if you had looked carefully so now let me write this so here students you would have found the book if you had looked carefully here i have added the third conditional it's better to memorize this structure you it will be easy for you to fill the blanks now let's see the last one i dash happy to help you if i dash not in the middle of another meet in the middle of the meeting so here you have to add the mixed conditional so let's see the structure of mixed conditional if plus pass this we we can use the second uh, conditional or we also can use the third conditional so now let us see this one so here again i am using this second conditional i would happy to help you if i had not in the middle of another meeting so here first they have used the main clause which is i would happy i after i in the second conditional i after what we use would have v1 sorry v1 would v1 so would and this happy is the v1 would happy to help you if i had not in the middle of another meeting so let me write here so students this is the correct sentence i would happy to help you if i had not in the middle of another meeting here i have used the mixed conditional so i have used the six, second conditional here now let's move to the last exercise which is exercise 3 now here what you have to do you have to match the clauses to make the conditional statement so now let's see the first one in the column a these are the conditional and here you have to match with the column two so if you had informed in advance so what will be the answer for this first of all you have to see which conditional it is so what which conditional it is it's better to see the structure first first we'll match it so if you had informed in advance i would have kept the lunch ready so this will be your answer so let me match it this will be your answer so for this you have to see the structure which is structure it is if you had inform in advance i would have kept the lunch ready so it is the uh, conditional third it is the third conditional so your answer will be this one j now next if i find your key now you have to see with which we can match it if i were you or if you had prepared well or i call you yes we can match it with the i call you so this will be your answer for the second one you have to use the h i will call you if i find your key i will call you so which conditional it is this is in the simple present and this will be in future simple so it is your first conditional now let's move to the third one the door opens it is also the first a uh, simple present it is so now let's match it the door opens if you don't hurry or if you turn the knob which one this f so the third one is f the door opens if you turn the knob so you can see this all this sentence also this part is also in present simple and this part is also in present simple so it is a zero conditional now let's move to the next fourth one we will be late now you have to match it if you had prepared well or i'll call you or if we don't hurry so the correct answer is we will be late if we don't hurry so the answer is i now let's see the next one you would have had no problem in the interview now you have to match it if you had prepared well 
you would have had no problem in the interview if you had prepared well so this fifth one we have to write a1 now let's see the sixth one i would inform the police if i were you c1 next if we meet at 9 am we we will have enough time so here we have to write the d1 if we had hit a boundary we would have won the match here we have to use the b now next one if you spoke louder with which we can match it you wouldn't feel so awful or what hmm the audience would understand you if you spoke louder the audience will understand you so we can add this g1 now next last one if you hadn't eaten too much oily stuff what you wouldn't so feel so awful the last one is e so here students it is very easy if this will come in your exam easily you can match it here you have to complete the given sentence so students hear your answers these exercises are very easy if you memorize these structures you can easily fill these blanks so i hope it would be helpful for you stay tuned for more videos and best of luck for your exams thanks for watching